What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So this will be my spoiler free review for the new A24 movie X directed by T.I. West. Also, he wrote the script for it as well. And this is starring Jenna Ortega, Mia Goth, Brittany, Stowe, Brittany Snow, Kid Cudi, Martin Henderson, Owen Campbell, Stephen Stephen Urie. Um, and is basically following a group of actors who set out to make an adult film in rural Texas under the noses of their reclusive host. But when the elderly couple catches their young guests in the act, the cast finds themselves in a desperate fight for their lives. So I just need to start off by saying that this movie is very strong on a technical level. That's what I believe is going to be the thing that a lot of you will come out on the other end of green with me about in terms of just how the the certain camera shots that you get there's this one shot in particular that i'm still thinking of involving uh a i think it was a lake or a river or a pond one or the other can't really i'm not good at deciphering those <laughs> but it's the way it's an overhead shot with one of the characters as you see in the trailer sitting in it or just floating in it but then it turns into this kind of like homage or ode if you will to jaws that's what i was getting when i saw it anyway and then this whole movie is just like a gigantic ode to the 70s the 80s and the movies that came out in that time period it has this ever-present feeling of dread like the original texas chainsaw and what is so incredible to me is how this captures a texas chainsaw vibe better than the recent texas chainsaw movie that we got if i'm being quite honest it was so strong on a technical level and T.I. West, she'd be very proud of what he has put together here. It's a very good movie still, very well made. It is suspenseful. It's got a lot of tension building. It does a great job at doing a lot of this setup payoff with, with lots of great setups with even rewarding even better payoffs. For instance, the, the lake scene that I'm talking about. That's a setup. You, you get the payoff later on in the movie and it feels so good when it happens there's a lot that it has to say about sex work um and i just love how that so that commentary within them within the movie and how the characters get to talk about it it's just thought provoking at the same time it's very timely of course with a lot of the stuff that we know we have involving that type of stuff these days different platforms and various different accesses people have to them uh, the performances in this movie are incredible. Jenna Ortega knocks it out of the park. Once again, she's incredible at playing the helpless victim as always. And Mia Goth, I would have to say, is also someone that I am now going to have my eye on because of what she does here in this film. She is amazing in the role of the character that she portrays. She portrays the character named Maxine. Jenna Ortega plays the character of Lorraine. And Brittany Snow is another person that I need to just kind of... Uh, go into really quick here she is just this ever so happy-go-lucky individual in the movie and <laughs> she's just like she's like she puts a smile on my face every time she was on screen she her line delivery and the way she's just in trying to capture this character she may feel like she's overacting at times to some people but she does a great job it never once becomes cringy or anything but i will say that there are some aspects of this movie like the reasoning behind why the elderly couple ultimately start killing that i can see people saying oh that's ridiculous that's stupid but what keeps it afloat is again those technical strengths the movie is so good on a technical level with the direction, the cinematography, the score, the way it plays with your mind and uses certain objects in the background, uh, kind of just always peeking or kind of digging into your intrigue and your curiosity as an audience member watching this movie play out. The characters, I will say, are not necessarily characters that are people you, people I'd say are like well-rounded characters. Some of them are very one note, but they all serve their purpose. They all have their personalities displayed at times in the film. Uh, Mia Goff's character, yes, will be the person that you will probably feel is the most developed by the end of the film. Her, Jenna Ortega's character, uh, I would even go as far to say the elderly couple as well, since they are our killers, as we see in the trailer. They are, they, they have their reasoning for why they're doing what they're doing, and it, 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 in my mind i'm laughing at it it's it's very comical but still you have a lot of gruesome kills that happen in this film 
you have again a lot of great setups and payoffs very rewarding there's a lot of tension building a lot of suspense the performances again are very uh very terrific for the most part overall i wouldn't say there was a single bad performance there were some times where i was like oh uh, you could have done better kid cuddy i have to just say kid cuddy another person who i think did a great job in the and just to talk about the aesthetic really quick so the aesthetic of this movie it does such a ter tremendous job at kind of capturing those late 70s 80s type of porno-esque stuff that was out there but also combining that with the slasher movies that you got in those time periods too like the friday the 13th again the jasons all that stuff it's so this movie is just a it, the visual aesthetic of it all just had me kind of just glued in in what i was watching and i have to talk about how the characters and the writing with what ti west brings to the table the way certain things are being paralleled between certain characters and the foreshadowing and again there's a lot of setup and payoffs between certain interactions between certain characters that ultimately come back to mean something in the end i just like how it all tied up together and was all very relevant there was not anything in the movie that felt disjointed or disconnected from the overall narrative everything seemed to serve a purpose there was a lot of as you see on your screen or you're about to see on your screen in a second i love the nods to the shining too a lot of movies seem to be doing that recently the nods to the shining i will never say that's a bad thing but i do notice that that's something that has just been a staple for for cinema for quite some time honestly because i i just recalled that in see to chucky you have a nod to the shining at the end of it <laughs> so i appreciated the little nod to the shining that we got with jenna ortega's character and just to speak about jenna ortega again uh for those of you who are fans of my screen videos and you watch all of my screen content you are going to be amazed by what she brings to the table here i just i will just say that you will enjoy her performance you will enjoy her character uh i don't know if you'll necessarily like her uh because she i do want to say that she is she's sharing the final girl role this time around but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below i have to give x an 8 out of 10 if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'll have me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video